my loyal subjects. You catch me in melancholy mood. For now we do embark upon the month of September. And when ere September does arrive, that month is heralded by memories of the birth of my second daughter, the Princess Elizabeth. For it was upon the 7th of September at the Palace of Placentia at Greenwich Palace that my second daughter did first see the light. I have mixed emotions. For nigh on 24 years, I was wed to the Spanish cow, Catherine of Aragon, a king, as I have said oft many times, a king does marry to have sons. I have said many times that a woman, indeed, nay, a queen, does prove her worth, her value, by the sons she does bear. If a king cannot have a son, all that king does matters as naught. You are aware, you are indeed aware, but arrogant did fail me six times, I six times, should we bring forth a child? All were dead save one, that cursed child, Mary. Upon ridding myself of the, the Spanish cow, my, my heart was captured by the goggle-eyed whore, Berlin. I did marry Berlin, for my heart, my heart was struck with a dart of love. Be assured, no king. No king e'er did so much for the woman he loved to secure a son. A son, a son is all a king desires. I did marry Berlin prior, prior to the Spanish cow, acceding to the annulment of our marriage. I, I did marry Berlin in secret, for she, she was already fat with child, my child. On the occasion of Berlin's coronation, when she did walk solemnly down the aisle of Westminster Abbey, and when in cruciform she was laid flat upon the cold stone, betwixt the stone and Berlin was my child, my child. All of the astrologers, all of the physicians had said, surely it was to be a boy. I prayed and I prayed and I prayed. But then, on the 7th of September, that intelligence was brought hither that nay, there was no son, but yet another girl. I did marry Berlin to have a son, but surely the Lord our God did mean some great gesture by the birth of this girl, Elizabeth. I bade them call her Elizabeth after my mother. The people of England did indeed come to love my daughter Elizabeth, and I did believe I did believe deep in my heart that if we can have a girl, then surely the sons would follow. But nay, nay, twice more, twice more, that goggle-eyed whore, that poisoning witch Berlin, did bring forth dead children. I was assured, I was convinced that the Lord our God, the Lord our God would not give me living boys by this woman. You know, you know 
what then and there transpired. The incest. The adultery. The treason! It is true. There is scarce a month. Scarce a week. Scarce a day. When events of the past are brought to my mind of Berlin and the evil that she did practice. <laughs> but I had a daughter. First, the Princess Elizabeth. Now, the Lady Elizabeth. What is true, just before that poisoning witch did lose off her head. Our marriage was annulled, declared invalid, and thus, as a consequence, the Princess Elizabeth was bastardized, I stripped of her royal status. She is yet my daughter, as the Lady Elizabeth, as a babe in arms, I, she did have her own household at Hatfield, and servants and such like to care and tend to her. But it's true, even now, in this, the year of 15 and 44, the girl Elizabeth, scarce 11, I did see little of her growing. But now, now, with my wife, my sixth wife, the kindly Catherine Parr, for she is indeed most kindly. She has become the mother to my children, the ladies Mary, the lady Elizabeth, and my heir, the Prince Edward. It is true that my wife, Queen Catherine Parr, does entertain a certain fondness for the lady Elizabeth. And perhaps now, more than ever before, I, your king, does in this, the closing years of my life, live as a family. My wife, the queen, my stubborn daughter, Mary, my lively daughter, Elizabeth, and my heir, my future, the princess. Thus, my loyal subjects, upon this the occasion of my daughter, the Lady Elizabeth's birthday, perhaps the Lord our God did mean some great pleasure to come in the birth of this daughter. Perhaps she'll be married. Perhaps she'll be married out of England and secure for this mine realm some great peace, some great treaty we we do not have so many children that we cannot afford to use them it is the way the dynastic way that mary and elizabeth will be given in marriage to secure this mine realm so then it is my loyal subjects in this the opening of the month of september be pleased to remember in your prayers the Lady Elizabeth. And may the Lord our God bless and keep you all the commons of England. Thank you for watching my video. If you have not already subscribed, then please subscribe below and click the bell if you wish to be advised of new videos. And please, don't forget to like this video and to leave a comment below.